the madman. I don't really have better two drops, but I don't see myself playing the Taskmaster on two. Unless I'm specifically against the Librarian. Just toss it all, search for a lone champion, Bloodhoof Brave. Bloodhooker. Okay. Oh, that's a really good card here. One mana, two, two, which deals one damage. Against the one, three. Perfecto. Wow, your hero power lets you lose health. Mine lets me gain health. That's pretty good. At least it's just a Malkazar Zenth. What a pain. I gotta Taskmaster this, unless I have lethal, but I unfortunately don't have lethal. Alright, and then it's Tarlord. Ah! The stable man. This will be at 8, that's fun. Can I bust through? Ah, still a little short, I think. Wait. Now, it... Uh... No, we don't have it! How do I not have it still? Uh, 
Oh. Okay. Anyways, I did that way because the other way, if I had a cube and a guy out, he could have killed both, but it's tougher to justify killing them than killing both of those. Hmm. Grime a Gadgeteer on 4 would be really strong if I managed to secure the board beforehand. But this deck doesn't really secure the deck beforehand. I'll toss it. What? Am I seven and zero? Maybe there's like I don't. What? Maybe he's just trying to humiliate me. If it's mirror energy, I guess we want to break shield. I don't need any of you. <laughs> it's the secret buff to warrior. When you pick warrior, it matches you down two wins. What to do? Brilliant. It all makes sense. Play 3 3 here. I have execute. I already have that one attack weapon though. I'll save. Casually take fifteen. Now this is where uh, armor up is really good, I suppose. I can remove so many things with Gorhal. That included. Mortal Strike is active. Now I have four mana, deal six damage. Overpowered. Is that even a good card to shuffle back in your deck? Hmm. No time for a value yeti. I hope he draws it. This guy's kind of like Cairn. Except twice as good. Kinda sorta. Hmm.
Thank god I set myself to 10. Wait, did I miss lethal? No, I didn't. Oh, right, this weapon. Oh, yeah. I'm dumb. Sometimes when you get too caught up in the control mode, you know, you just go all, you go full control mode. Right? Champion in the grimy gadget here. That'll be pretty good. If he doesn't manage to kill the brewmaster, then the brewmaster sets the stage for the gadget here, anyways. Time for the Gadgeteer to get out of control. Feels good to be able to play the card that I buffed right away. Gadgeteer is out of control! Oh no! And 10, I guess. And the Gadgeteer is just following the curve. He's like, you want to play this next, right? You want to play this next, right? Alright, so the only thing that can stop me is Psychic Scream. So... Should I play around Psychic Scream? I think it'll also get stopped by death. This is fine. The lone champions, they're sad that they don't get buffed, but they're happy that they finally got friends. Still in it. What a boss. So if you cast Mind Control, I still win. So this is a great play. If he was at 12, I would have also cast Blood to Icker. Ah, the satisfying thunk of Gorehow. Not going 12 and 0, maybe.
So, that was a slow turn for him. Which is good for me, since my start is very slow, and my deck in general is slow. You there? Hmm. All right, back to our six, seven, eight shenanigans. Our Lord's been pretty good for me. Cubed worms, huh? Yum. Yeah, once I make it to this stage, and we're dropping the Tar Lord, and the Worm, and the Bone Man, and the Gore Howl. I feast upon the light. That looks pretty good. Ding. Well, what do you know? This is good against Mirror Entity and Frozen Clip? Cubing the 7 4 would be really bad against Mirror Entity. I check with Lone Champion first. I don't need any of you. And then I'm not entirely sure that cubing that's that good. Maybe just Spiteful Summoner? I have an Execute in the deck and a Mortal Strike in the deck. Yeah, cube is pretty good right here. I wonder if you possibly want to sacrifice the Raven Familiar first against the Lone Champion. Maybe. <laughs> Just not Doomsayer, right? Just a 2 5 for 3 here. That's decent. That was strange that he attacked me with the dagger the first time around. Not that strange, but just a little bit strange. Just strange enough to warrant, like, boy, would I be more annoyed if I. if he had a 1 damage dagger. Ow. Oh. Okay. That's why. You had a weapon to play. Against better players, I guess I could have deduced that. But the play has been not great.
Ooh, great card. And I have an execute. Ooh, and another lone champion. That is not good, but cool. It's pretty bad, but cool. And then I guess I'll go face first. If I don't activate the possible cheat death on this. Can't really get punished. If I hit him, while well, the worm is the only card on the board, can't get sudden betrayal either. Don't know if it's cheat death or betrayal. Oh. Yeah, will he be sad? I think he'll be sad. Let's just play this though. We have enough health that I can play the slow play. Thank goodness! I dodged my king's being getting destroyed. Man, attack in the cube will be so strong. Oh my god, the 7 1. Oh my god! The ultimate value! Beat death, sure. Cube, a 7 1 grab. Cool, man. Oh wait, I only get one worm. It's not quite as good as I thought it would be. Oh my god, I'm so far ahead. <laughs> Nice. I feel a little bit bad. I'm at such a high amount of health that the only way I can lose is if I somehow get outvalued, so I'll try not to get outvalued. Uh, I just armor up here. Nah, yeah, we'll, we'll go for ultimate value lines. It's hard to imagine I won't have a target given that I have such big things. So many wonderful <laughs> Wow. Tried so hard. 11 0! Woo! Alright. Yeah, final boss. I still haven't gotten Blaze Caller active a single time. Will this be the game where Blaze Caller is active? Oh, it's a rematch. Was this the guy who Forbidden Flamed me on turn one? How did you make it to 11? <laughs>
Or seeing him the hero power on four is still pretty good. for the Turbo Hydro win. Ah, no grout. No gore howl for you. Start running for me. Let's see, I'm a control deck, right? How do I get punished by not trading? For me. Eh, trade. Carnivorous cube would be so good here. Just gotta remember I'm a control deck, so trading tends to be right. I do have a Hydra out, so... Could possibly have thought about pushing stuff, but... Nah, we're the trade man. Point Bone Mirror on this guy, and then Violet Worm, or just Violet Worm right now. That thing's not at one yet. What now? Yeah, this is pretty scary. We have enough health that we don't care about the Fire of Last silliness. I'd like to not run into Polymorph. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have it based off of his play. So we're just gonna do this, I suppose. It's pretty weak against Poly though. What if I took the Gadgeteer Weaponsmith route instead? Or maybe the Gadgeteer Phoenix the Face route? It does activate Blaze Color. It'd be at 15, 4, 7, 14. Threads lethal. Alright, we'll do this path. I believe we've actually done it. 12 and 0 with Warrior. Easy? Likely, but uh, <laughs> we somehow went 12 and 0. We ended standard arena with a bang. <laughs>